Rockstar has finally broken their silence on GTA 6 and have possibly even given us a window to expect a GTA 6 trailer and have even told us when GTA 6 will be being released. Hello everyone, you're watching Hugo Games, bringing you all of the latest news on Rockstar and Grand Theft Auto 6. Yes, I'm back for good now, I did take a few months off due to exams. Fuck school! Fuck all this bullshit! What the fuck? But I'll hopefully be able to post consistently now and possibly even every day. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and let's get into it. So I don't think Rockstar talking about GTA 6 is new for most people, as they have done it many times before. For example, when they first announced active development was well underway, or even when they released a statement regarding the infamous leaked footage. I think he's hacked me. Well, actually, that was the last time fans would hear from Rockstar about GTA 6. <laughs> Until now. <laughs> Rockstar have recently been talking about GTA 6 all over the place and it is hard to keep up. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why haven't I heard about this? And why haven't I seen what they're saying? Well, it's not coming from Rockstar themselves. Before you click away, I want to reassure you that it is from someone very reputable. So give me a second to explain. The man talking about GTA 6 is Strauss Zelnick. Who? Most of you probably have no idea who he is. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? But he's becoming one of the biggest influencers on GTA 6 news. Maybe because he's the CEO of Take Two Interactive. Now, to very quickly fill in those of you who aren't following. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Rockstar Games is owned by an even bigger company. This is called a parent company, and this company is Take Two Interactive. Now, of course, because Take-Two owns Rockstar, Rockstar have to tell them absolutely everything about every new and upcoming game, including work on GTA 6. So, yes, Take-Two know exactly when the trailer for GTA 6 will be being released, as well as the game itself. Which therefore means the CEO of Take-Two, this Zelnik guy, knows more than everyone about GTA 6. All right then, keep your secrets. Good. I know you have something to do with it. For him to say anything is absolutely mind blowing. Now I bet you're glad you didn't click away. So now let's get into the juicy stuff. What's he actually been saying? Well, very recently, Take Two have had one of their annual earnings calls where they let investors know what their plans for the future are and what sort of revenue they will be expecting. Well, Take Two announced that they'll be expecting around $8 billion in revenue. for fiscal year 2025, which is much higher than their previous years. Now, I also want to quickly stamp down on a misconception I'm seeing absolutely everywhere right now, which is people confusing fiscal 2025 for the year 2025. It's not. You're, you're a fucking idiot. Fiscal is a business term, and fiscal 2025 actually starts in April 2024, and lasts until March 2025. So realistically, when they talk about fiscal 2025, they really mean the year 2024, except the few months in 2025, although nothing ever usually happens in those months. I'm seeing this all over TikTok, and a lot of people saying GTA 6 will come out in 2025, and this is such a long way off, when really, this means next year. Due to this earnings call, Strauss was interviewed by CNBC News later that week. Now, this interview did tell us a lot about GTA 6 and of course hinted that that $8 billion was going to be coming from its release. Thankfully, the interviewer was an absolute legend and got straight to the point of asking about GTA 6. Grand Theft Auto 6. And when Strauss dodged it, she even followed through with more. Like Grand Theft Auto? Um, <laughs> Here's the clip. This is his first television interview since the company reported fourth quarter results last week, with revenue beating the street and signals of a very strong future slate of games. And I think that's the headline here. Strauss, thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. All right, so this was huge news. Uh, you are not somebody who, you know, is big on theatrics or is into hyperbole or any of those things. But last week, when you talked about your earnings and your guidance, you said that you're going to be looking at more than $8 billion in revenue next year for games. And, and that's 45% ahead of the midpoint of the street's estimates on things. That is huge, huge news. And it's got people speculating that you've got to have Grand Theft Auto 6 coming out. So we've said that we're working on the next iteration of Grand Theft Auto, but Rockstar hasn't announced a release date yet. 
We've been working on this huge pipeline. We have 36 titles coming to market in fiscal 25 and 26, and we obviously have high expectations. And you're right, we typically don't talk about future years. We typically give guidance, and, and we try to go right down the middle. That's what we're supposed to do. In this instance, we wanted to give the street the transparency it's been asking for. So we basically gave an outlook for this fiscal year and subsequent too. And what's interesting is we have high expectations for fiscal 25, but we also expect sequential growth in fiscal 26. I mean, you look at the stock jump, it was up more than 10 percent, more than 11 percent, I think. Um, this is huge news because you have a lot of new properties that are coming out, but you're, you're usually pretty conservative about new things that have not been out there in the past. Generally, we like to have success before we talk about it. So what makes you so sure this time? We've been working on this pipeline for a long time, and we have a pretty good ability to predict the performance of new iterations of existing franchises. Like Grand Theft Auto? Um, and so and we have, actually we have 14 franchises that have each sold over 5 million units in an individual release. Uh, titles like Red Dead and Borderlands, Bioshock, Civilization, and many others. Some of you may be thinking, well, you know, he did say there'll be multiple games coming from Take Two, and they do own a lot of big franchises. Well, let me break this down for you. Strauss listed the biggest franchises Take Two own, excluding GTA for obvious reasons. Now, which of them will be making near $8 billion in 2024? Well, let's see. Red Dead Redemption 3 is rumored to have a release date of around 2030, so I really doubt this is going to be their revenue for 2024. The Borderlands series is great, although they have released a game in 2019, which isn't too long ago, so people aren't expecting another one until at least 2026. Bioshock is another great game series, and it's definitely up there in big earners for Take Two. Plus, there is a rumored release date for 2024 for the next Bioshock game. But before you say anything, I highly doubt this is where their $8 billion in revenue is going to come from, as Bioshock as a franchise has only just cracked $1 billion dollars in revenue as a whole. Plus, developers on the new Bioshock have said that they're currently in development hell. Finally, the last franchise Strauss mentioned was Civilization, which again is a huge earner, plus a new Civilization game was announced earlier this year. Although again, I wouldn't be too worried as Civilization 6 has only made 600 million overall. So yes, every franchise Strauss mentioned combined doesn't even come close to that $8 billion in revenue. But he forgot to mention one little franchise, didn't he? Grand Theft Auto, a franchise that has made over $8.3 billion, 7.7 .7 of which was made by their latest release of GTA 5. GTA 5 also broke world records of becoming the fastest growing video game of all time, making over $1 billion within the first three days of release. Now, for those of you not putting those pieces of information together, this basically means there's no other explanation for Take-Two's expected revenue in 2024 other than the release of GTA 6. Now, just to make a quick prediction that makes sense to me, Rockstar typically releases these games a few months before the holiday, between September and November, so they typically release a trailer about a year before. So I'm predicting that we'll get a trailer between September and November of this year, and a release the same time next year. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Finally, Strauss Auto talked about GTA 6 on a recent podcast. Although it doesn't give us much information about GTA, other than him saying Rockstar is aiming for perfection but because i'm a nice guy i'll show you the clip anyway well you've identified a significant issue whenever we put out a sequel or even even more as we do with civilization really recreate the franchise i think that's a challenge that folks at rockstar face every time there's a new iteration of grand theft auto it needs to be something you've never seen before on the one hand and it needs to reflect the feeling that we have about grand theft auto and um, that's a big challenge for the team. Um, now, uh, Rockstar's answer is just seek perfection. Like, mm -hmm. Seek nothing short of perfection and we'll get there. Well, that's it for today's video. Do hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed and stay tuned.